In this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to send all your Ethereum classics, all your future Ethereum classics, right to a paper wallet using my Ethereum.com. And the most important thing that will be done for the safe of your tokens will be done all offline. Hey, how are we doing, everyone? Well, once again, this is Dario from Mira Box ENT. If, if this is the first time the channel, maybe this will be the first time the channel, make sure you hit the little M so you become part of Media Box ENT. So the idea for this video is to keep safe all your Ethereum classes for a long time. So we're going to be printing, we're going to be using uh, my Ethereum wallet.com to create um, a wallet. It will be a paper wallet. What is good the paper wallet for? Well, you want to get the key out of your blockchain. So you leave it safe. It's pretty safe to leave it uh, in a paper format. If you make enough copy, I would say to people, make sure you make an extra copy and keep it up somewhere besides your house and another location safe. So in case something goes wrong, you always have an extra copy. You will not be safe in the computer. No file can be safe in the computer after you create this, after you follow my instructions. And the most important, after I tell you, you need to make sure you get your computer offline. You got to get your computer offline. Now, the purpose for this too, if it's a fork coming up or anything coming up, because in this in this case for the Tina classes, it's coming out an airdrop, main theft. It's a new con coming up. In that case, if you want to of your exchange, you're going to support that, then maybe it's the time for you to get ready. When that happens, you can move your coins to the paper wallet, take, the, take all your Tina classics out of the blockchain, wait until the whole thing passes, there will be some time main theft. And then back then, you can restore it back to your own wallet or leave it there. Also, remember, if you have a paper wallet, the idea for a paper wallet is only for deposit. It's not made for we, we, we draw from there or use it daily we draw. And the whole idea for this is deposit for a long time or deposit for the time being. When it's ready for you, then you take all your tokens, you take the full balance to a new wallet or maybe a cold storage wallet, whatever it will be. And remind, I want to remind you, I have no... None of the Ethereum classics. You have all the Ethereum classes right now. So if anything goes wrong or you send it somewhere else by mistake, now either me, the box, or myself will be responsible. All right. Thank you. Hey, how are you doing, everyone? Once again, this is Dario from Media Box CNT. If maybe this will be the first time in the channel, Make sure you hit the little M right now, and then you become part of Media Box ENT. So the idea for this video is how to, we can create a paper wallet. And you may be asked, why are need a paper wallet? Well, maybe you want to mine to a different address than the one you have now. It also is good in case a half fork is coming up or something else, and maybe the exchange will not give it to you, or maybe the wallet you have there, or maybe you want to leave it there for a while. The idea for a paper wallet is not is only for deposit. It's not to be use it to cash it out or be it taken out as you need it. If you have a paper wallet, you'll be deposit only and when the day comes for you to cash out or the day once that you want to send it to an exchange or maybe you want to send it out to a cold storage wallet, then then when it's the time you're gonna draw the whole entire balance out of the paper wallet. And then you're going to be sending it out now to the new wallet. So this is a good way to keep it for a long time. It's safe because it will be out of the blockchain. It means half four coming out, when it coming out, you will get everything. Because nothing is safe. You, your key is out of the blockchain. So that's very important. The second thing is, it's done offline. For the safe of this token, it needs to be done offline. So I'm going to be talking in this video. When we do the structure, you got to make sure your computer it becomes offline. You're going to be disconnected to the internet. It will be nice and safe. So let me give you the instructions right now. All right. So this is a step we need to follow to create a paper wallet on the Ethereum Classic. So we are on the main page, myethereumwallet.com. Always, always double check this a hundred times. And as always say, grab this and save as your favorite. Put it in the tab, put it somewhere. Never search for the site. Because there is, there are other ones called my Ethereum wallets with the S and the N, and that will be a scam site. And there are many ones. Just by changing one letter, you never know. You don't pay attention. You scan in too fast, 
and they're going to steal everything from you. So memorize everything, the exchanges, anything you use, always memorize the sites. So do not search for anything. So done. Now we're going to follow this step exactly as we're supposed to do in the site. Before we do that, we're going to get started because we need to create this offline. You can read all this, but we're going to jump it. We're going to go all the way down, all the way down until we see how to run a new offline wallet locally. We're going to click right over there. Then at this point, we need to go to the GitHub site. And here, you're going to press it, My Ethereum Wallet. You press here. And this one brings you to the GitHub. Today, day, that is version 3.11, 3.2. Possible months for now is a different version. But the steps are the same. So you're going to be follow. You're going to be downloading your Ethereum Wallet, the latest version. You can download it and save in your computer. Depends what computer you use. We'll be saving different location. This is a window. will be in my desktop or my downloads. When it's done, I'm going to minimize this. It's in zip format. I'm going to unzip it. I'm going to open it. Go back. And we're going to see here a bunch of files. The one we need to execute is the index HTML file. But before we do this, we're going to be offline. So what do you need now to do now? If you're on Windows 10, you can put your computer in, in airplane mode. Um, if you're not, you can go into the control panel and and disable your uh, your connection if that gets too complicated you can just disconnect the right right if it's hardwired you can just disconnect the wire in the back if that don't work just go and take the power of your router or if you modem for a little bit so you're 100 disconnected so we're going to execute it so now we did that we follow the steps we're going to put a password Make sure we select Ethereum Classic. I'm an Ethereum Classic already. We're not going to be creating an Ethereum. This is for Ethereum Classic. At that point, we're going to generate the password. I'm sorry, we're going to generate the wallet. We need to save the JSON file. Please understand this. Do not share it. Make sure you make a backup. And if you lose it, you're not going to be able to restore it. All right? So we understand that, so we're going to click Download. And it's already downloaded in the bottom of the screen. I understand what this much is knows about. At that point, that file you say, I will say save it in a USB drive, save it in an external location, in a cold external location. It means it will never be connected to something as hot. It will never be connected online. Do not save it in any, any cloud or anything. It needs to be offline whatever now this is your private key you can have a note you can print this picture if you want but we're going to print paper wallet and right over here right over here it show you the paper wallet they show you your public address and show you your private address all right so at that point you print it i will recommend you you can do also a pds file and create it and put it in also into a external usb drive nothing will be same in the computer now we need to unlock the wallet. At that point, we're going to save the address. We're still in the Ethereum, Ethereum Classic. We're going to choose again the same file. Select. Well, we're downloading the latest one. We put the password. We unlock it. And it shows right over here. So this is your public address. This you can share with anyone. This is where you're going to make all your deposits. So we see all the information. You can, if you want, you can see this and you can print it if you want. So at that point, we unlock it. I'm going to copy this because we need this. We're going to need this. Now, there are a few things we can do here now. We can send. You decide now. You no longer be deposit. It's time to cash. Or oh, I'm moving to a tracer. I'm moving to a... a a ledger, a hard wallet, another wallet. I want to take everything from there. So what we're going to do now, the few things we can send off offline. And also we can view the wallet. If you want to see all the information again, you click view your wallet. You're going to do this offline and you can send all the information. 
Now, to view your balance, if you want to view your balance in the future without loading any key, you're going to go here that you can do it online, send, view your balance only. You click your public address, view, and you can see here, now you see your Ethereum Classic and all that information. You no longer need your private address. Now, but it's time for you to send all the money out. I really want to, you know, cash out, send it to maybe an, an exchange. Send offline. Uh, we're going to be putting my address from my public address, remember? We don't need the, we don't need the private address. Now, we're going to need to send it to somewhere else. So let me get another address. First, let's generate the information. Information required. I'm still doing this offline, okay? I put wherever I'm going to be sending. This is my new wallet. I sent all amount, whatever. You know, you're going to send them whatever you have. It will give you the information. I'm still offline. I'm going to get my checks on file. I'm going to select it. I still find now unlock generate and now when it's all done all the information that's exactly what you're going to send in please always compare two address because there are some type of, of virus it will change your destination address but since your online should be okay, but you always double check before you press send. So, okay, this is what I want to send. Now you put your computer back online and just compare, make sure you're online. Maybe you can search Google or something. It will tell you, okay, I'm online now. And then you just send transaction and you're done.